All right, guys, well, this is going to be the last video of 2019. And instead of doing a video like I did last year, it was like a top 10 kind of review of videos from the year. I kind of wanted to just sit and talk about the year to where I could kind of go more in depth on everything that happened, because this has been a really great year for me. I feel like the videos have gotten a lot better this year, and that's kind of something I want to talk about too. So first off, the channel grew a lot. At the beginning of the year, I think I had 4,000 subscribers, and now the channel is close to 40,000. So that's 10 times the amount of subscribers we had at the beginning of the year, which is absolutely insane, and I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And um, that kind of started in spring, so I dropped a video, Black Widow vs. Brown Recluse, and you know, it was a video that I was like, this is going to be fun and neat and educational. It wasn't like my favorite video or anything, but I was like, this is this is going to be very cool. And that video completely did better than anything I thought it would do. It got a load of views from people searching it and then YouTube from there recommending it to people. And now it's one of my more viewed videos. It's got over a million views at this point, which I was like, that is pretty crazy. And I figured I would do another versus video because that seemed to be something people enjoyed. So I was like, well, I don't want to do it the same way that I did that one. I want it to be something more of a documentary, something I will really appreciate that I made. So I started working on the next one, which was Cottonmouth versus Copperhead. And that one was different because I wanted it to have a lot of other snakes in it, like a lot of other animals other than just the two to compare to. And uh, that was really cool because it showed the process of finding the animals and comparing them. And uh, the only thing I didn't like about that video was the ending. Even though we did film the releases and stuff like that, it's like we were rushed to do it at the end, so they didn't come out good, so I didn't keep them in. Uh, that was like the only thing I didn't like about that video. Everything else I was like, this is one of my favorite videos I've ever made. And it was so satisfying because that video did so well. I was like, man, I put loads of work into that video and it did really well. And um, those are the two videos that did the best this year. So I wanted to kind of talk about them, and that launched for the next thing that we did, which was traveling. So the channel has never made any money up until this point. It's been just me enjoying doing videos and you guys supporting it. But once the channel actually kind of had some funding, I was like, well, we should probably go and do some travel. So the first place we actually went this year was Arizona. And that was really fun. We actually got to meet up with Burke from Catch It, and he got to help us. It was kind of like one of my first genuine collabs for my channel that I ever did and uh, it was really really fun Burke was great we didn't get to meet up with Jeff because he was busy but uh, it was just really really enjoyable to go to Arizona completely new animals and it was just an awesome experience I did learn a lot on that trip it was my first genuine film trip and what I mean by that is I wasn't just happening to be in the area we went there to film which that was a first we had never actually done that before and that was the only reason we could do that is because of those first two videos doing really well. Arizona was one of my one of the highlights of my year. It was so enjoyable to get out and be in a new area basically. Really the animals were just incredible there. We saw owls, mammals, but the snakes were probably one of my favorite things there. Uh, specifically the sidewinders. So sidewinders we found on our last night there and it was one of the snakes, I, I like pygmy rattlesnakes and they're kind of like a pygmy rattlesnake in a way because they stay small and they're just a really cool snake so that was probably my favorite thing of the trip and I did learn some important lessons on that trip too for instance when we landed down in Arizona like we instantly went to looking for animals but we weren't filming on the first night we were like well let's just kind of feel it out and see what we want to do and I regret that now, I could have filmed a lot on that first night when we were just kind of out exploring. Uh, so I know now when I'm on a film trip, I've got to film everything for one. And uh, you know, it was just an awesome time. It was just one of my, one of the highlights of my year really. Um, the next trip we actually did was more recent. That was the trip to F Florida for manatee filming. And uh, that was great. I love that video. It needs to get more views, honestly, for how much work was put into it. Work, time, money, travel, just everything that I could put into that video I wanted to. Because it was just a really special video that I got the chance to film and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, Manatee video probably went through the most production this year, like filming and time spent traveling, getting there. And it was really fun. It was an experience I'll never forget, really. Um, so those are su some of the traveling moments we had, and yes, we did go to Tennessee earlier in the year, and I went to Florida twice, but that was just 
my family and me happening to be there and I filmed some videos. Um, whereas the other two were actually genuine film trips. So that's kind of the difference there, if that makes any sense at all. So 2019 was just a really awesome year of growing. Not just the channel, but also me. I got to learn a lot. And I feel like I am getting better at making videos overall. I'm not super good at cinematography or photography or anything like that. My expertise is learning about animals, studying animals, and dealing with them. So everything else I've had to learn along the way on YouTube. And I can honestly say I don't think I ever want to stop doing YouTube. It's just so enjoyable. It's so fun for me to film videos. Even ones like this, like I know this isn't super entertaining or anything like that, but it's kind of enjoyable to just kind of sit and talk to you guys about how the year went. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, YouTube is something I want to keep doing for a long, long time. And even if YouTube isn't the platform I stay on forever, I definitely think I want to continue making uh, wildlife videos for the rest of my life alongside with what I'm normally doing. Now, a lot of people don't understand this, but I have a lot of animals. Like you can even see behind me, there's a couple of snake cages. There's a bunch of animal stuff over there. There's nothing over there, but I two snakes right behind me. And I have a ridiculous amount of animals, whether it be rescues or educational animals. My entire day is based around animal related stuff. And it's not just videoing. And I haven't shown you guys that a lot because it is more personal. It is more my day to day life. And while I don't want to go too in depth with my day to day life and dealing with all that stuff, I do want to show you guys the animals that I get the pleasure to take care of or rescue and all this stuff that happens on my daily week because right now the channel mostly focuses on wildlife and I do want to have a little bit of a shift to start filming rescues and saving animals and taking care of them rather than just the wildlife itself meaning the wildlife is still going to be the core of the channel don't get me wrong but the the taking care of them is also a huge part of my life so that's something I do want to show a lot more in 2020 and that leads me to the new series I know I know I, I was like in spring, I think in the spring, I was like, yeah, new series, I'm going to film all this cool stuff. And yes, I have been working on it, but I didn't do any of the actual filming for it. And now I am, I do have most of the filming done for the first few episodes, but I was like, you know, I, I wanted it to be very detailed. I wanted it to be well done and I didn't want to rush it, which I don't regret that because I still want the series to come out really well. However, I shouldn't have announced it when I did. I was like, it was still just kind of more of a thought or an idea when I announced it rather than actually in progress. Now it's fully in progress and now should have been the time that I announced it rather than last spring. Either way, the normal videos are going to continue. One thing that the new series uh, Animal Diaries is going to allow me to do is spend more time on both kinds of videos. So one thing this year was I finally started feeling the pressure to find new animals. And what I mean by that is I find animals on a weekly basis, however, finding a new one to film every single week is actually pretty difficult. Like, the amount of time spent looking for stuff, researching, is pretty insane. Uh, and what this series is going to allow me to do, it's going to allow me to make longer videos, not only for wildlife, but also for the new series, because I'm constantly dealing with the animals that I have. And once I film them, I have plenty of time and energy to be able to film them and make really awesome videos. But what that also does is it gives me time to work more on the wildlife videos. So basically, I can make more videos like the Cottonmouth vs. Copperhead, more videos like the Manatee, and we'll also be able to do a little bit more traveling if those videos do well. One thing cool is that I've also grown a lot in 2019. I've been able to take on a lot more responsibility. This year, I had a decent amount of responsibility. I don't know if it was anything ridiculous. You know, I had cop This was my senior year in high school, but what I did was a lot of it was actually college courses. So I'm actually mostly done with my senior year. I have one class to be taking for the rest of my semester before I'm done. College classes was a lot to balance along with videos and all the other responsibilities that I have. But what's awesome is this year, I'm going to have the least amount of responsibilities with the most freedom I have ever had in my life. I'm gonna have one class once a week and I'm gonna have plenty of time to film other stuff and work on what I really wanna work on. So that's gonna be really cool. That's something I'm looking forward to in 2020, is just being free to work on what I wanna work on and it'll give me more time to think about what I wanna film and actually learn more. One thing a lot of people don't realize is I'm constantly having to learn as I go because you know I don't know much about 
fancy filming. I don't know much about <laughs> uh, the statistics of YouTube or anything like that. Yes, I do try my best to learn it, but I'm not very good at it. And, you know, I'm constantly learning and working with animals. The one thing that I really want to grow on when it comes to myself this year is actually my research. So this is something I haven't talked about on the channel too much, but actually researching animals is something that I need to get better at. I'm good at learning about them, but when it comes to finding out new information, that's something that I want to practice and work on this year. And you guys kind of saw a little bit of that with the rainbow snake. If you guys didn't watch that video to the end, you do know I kept the rainbow snake and it actually laid eggs and we hatched them. And I'm currently writing some research reports on rainbow snakes right now because it's been so cool to learn about them. Not only the mama, but also the babies that have now hatched. And once again, that's something that hopefully you guys will get to see in the new upcoming series. But it's something that I want to get better at. And also documenting, I've been able to film all of it. I just haven't turned it into an episode format yet. Working on a lot of stuff for 2020. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the videos this year. And it seriously means a lot to me when you guys let me know that you enjoy them. You know, I remember at the beginning of the year kind of being a little bit distraught. I'm like, you know... Are people going to actually enjoy these? And I remember thinking to myself, if a video does well, I want people to be able to enjoy it, you know? So my goal was always to increase the enjoyability of every single video that I made. And when videos did well and people actually enjoyed them, it made me really, really happy. Uh, it was just something something really awesome to see all you guys. And uh, you know, I wish I could thank every single one of you personally for that. It would take me a long time, but just know I'm really grateful for you guys helping me and uh, following me on this little journey of YouTube. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, I will hopefully see you guys again in 2020 with a new series and some new videos. Peace. <laughs>